to welcome ladies and gentlemen we're back today for some more pez 2017 gameplay some more ai uh, action for you guys to check out and the reason i'm showing this is because i'm i'm a big lover of offline and i want to see how the ai play now this guy actually shows us a bit of tactics before the game uh, i think he goes for centering targets as one of them uh, the other option i think is tick attacker no it's wing rotation and uh, the gigan press or the gigan press and then the final one uh, is yeah counter target so that's what he's going for i'll show you in the bottom left of the screen if you take a look uh, it shows you what he's doing i've just blown it up a little bit so you guys can see so he's going for centering targets which means he has to use the wings that's what that means Got to get the ball down the wings because when he does that like that, he's got players in the box that will try and cause some problems. I don't think it's the best thing to use for Atletico Madrid. I mean, they're not really known for their height, you know, and physicality up top with Torres and uh, Anton Griezmann. But hey, he's giving it a bash. And then he's going for the Gigan Press as a defensive option. I think that's probably not the, you know, the wisest decision against Barcelona. You know, he's going to be very tired after a while. He's going to lose that stamina that's going to come into play or supposedly it's meant to come into play uh, and he's going to have a lot of players pressing leaving a lot of holes around the field now i'm not sure what barcelona are playing you can't really look at their tactics they're playing attack one and defense one uh, whatever that is probably tick attacker that's probably what they're playing but the whole point of this video is to compare it to the last two that i did about the ai i don't know if this is on superstar completely but i feel it is uh this was like in another language when i checked it out in spanish or something so i couldn't really clarify whether it was but i'm pretty sure with the way barcelona play here it is on a higher difficulty i mean they're passing it around nicely here they're looking for ways to split open atletico madrid right there that was a nice pass he played it because he saw the gap the ball's back post and they scored that's a nice goal i'll give you credit there ai for working it well but the biggest problem i have here though is the crossing there seems to be a lot of crosses being scored by the CPU. If it's not a header, it's a volley, you know. And, and is this is going to be the case this year? Is it going to be like last year where everything was low and hard? This year, everything's going to be high and across and they score a goal. I'm still not seeing sort of one-on-one -on -one finishes, you know, top corners coming off the post. You know, even, even going around the goalie in a one-on-one -on -one would be beautiful. But what about that for a quick counter? You know, came straight back. So it's definitely there again that you score. And then you can score one or you concede. And then you can score one right back. But take a look right now. Fernando Torres. When the ball's played here. Just about onside. Because the fullback is playing him on. Mascherano is completely out of position. They haven't got a flat back line. No communication. PK did not stay with Thiago. And then Thiago puts it in the back of the net pass to Segan. So goes to show you that AI will make mistakes. Which, hey, I've got nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying the superstars should be 100% that they do everything right. Uh, I just think they need to be a little more clinical coming forward and know what they want to do. A little bit more variety here as we're going to see a penalty for the first time. Bit of a reckless challenge. I'm not sure why when diving in on the edge of the box. Penalties, unfortunately, they haven't changed, guys. They look the same. I mean, that strike from Messi was a little bit cleaner. Hit it a little bit more oomph. Uh, but still, the goalie's flying all over the place like Superman. I don't know why they do that. I mean, they need to have it so that if you choose a direction, even if they go down the middle, you know, the goalie sticks a hand down or he sticks a foot down. He, at least he tries, shows some sort of an attempt to save the ball. Uh, just to, you know, make it more realistic. So, yeah, the reason I'm showing so much AI is because I play offline. You guys know that, or those of you that don't, that's what I do. I play Master League, become a legend. Online, for me, is a different kettle of fish. It's, it could be hard. arcadey, spammy, laggy, the connection's delayed. It all comes into play. But when you play offline, when you play Master League, you know what you to expect. The AI, if they play a good game of football, it can be a really good game, really enjoyable. A good bit of possession. You can even play a 15-minute match, you know, and try and close down the AI, switch up the tactics, uh, and have a good, a good solid game against the CPU. Right now, Barcelona aren't looking too bad. You know, they're working it forward. They're not keeping it in their own half. Last year, it was broken. I mean, I have to say that. It was broken last year when it came to the CPU keeping the ball. I mean, there's another cross that just went over Torres. But 
They kept the ball too much. Right now, here, if we stopped it, we're not going to. But if we did, they would play tick attacker in their own half. And they wouldn't go forward. Let me take a look at it now. Let's see what they do. PK up the line. Plays it inside. Forward again. Always looking for options. You can see the, the runner on the side making the run. It's a nice move there. It's beautiful. So there is promise, guys. There is promise that the CPU this year will adapt. Will play football going forward. Uh, I mean, that's good to know. Because I can't play Master League again with the AI playing the way they were. It was just not enjoyable at all. And that guy probably should have hit that early. But yeah, we're coming up to half time. I think Barcelona have about 85% pass completion at half time. That's far more respectable. I'll take that. Uh, you know, they only had two chances. So did Atletico Madrid. And uh, Atletico had 89% pass completion. So very similar in stature. Barcelona leading 2 1 at the moment. But yeah, anything around there, I'm happy. I think 80 to 85 overall, you know, maybe a little bit higher if, if the teams are playing that well. But we just don't want to see him never making a mistake, never giving it away. It's got to be possession with a purpose. You know, last year on Pez, there wasn't. I've said it numerous times. I keep saying it, but it's true, isn't it? You guys will agree. It was possession without a purpose. This year, turn it around. Possess, push forward, try and close them down score a goal but I'm still not seeing enough variety you guys are going to see another goal very soon um, and once again it's very similar to the first goal and that's the problem that I'm, that I'm sort of seeing so I hope Konami take a look at that and sort it out so yeah he's still using the centering targets and he, he really hasn't used the wings at all I don't know why this guy's using this formation uh, or this tactic if you're going to use a tactic you have to make the most of it I mean, me personally, I'm probably going to be using something like Tick Attacker. I like to play that quick passing. But yeah, here's the goal. Neymar lays it square. Nice little dummy, though, from the forward. And then tapped in by the old Uruguayan of Luis Suarez. But like I say, this has come from the flanks again. Uh, Thetico Madrid got caught. Got caught napping. Lays it inside. Little dummy run. Taps it in. It's a good finish. Bottom corner. Would have been nice to see it go in the top corner, you know, just to just mix it up a little bit. But, hey, we will take it. And it's good to see the AI at least scoring some goals. But this is a 10-minute game, I think. That's why there's not a whole abundance of chances. I think the longer the matches are, obviously you're going to get more. I mean, that's, that's a no-brainer there. But, yeah, let me know in the comments, you know, what do you guys feel? Are you looking to play online or offline which mode you're looking to play the most as i've said i'm a master league guy that's what i'm looking to play on offline because i enjoy it good save there by to stegan i think there's a good amount of variety this year and i think that's the key and if they sort out the niggles and another niggle that i have i've got to get straight into it now because i have remembered it is fouling there's been no fouls in this game at all by barcelona and i have I don't know why. I feel we're back to stage one on that front. You know, Konami this year, they obviously looked at the goalkeepers. They fixed it. The refereeing, they've sort of sorted that out a little bit as well. The AI, they've changed up. Yet, they've completely ignored fouling. There is, there is no fouling in this game. You know, when have you ever had a match where Barcelona play Atletico Madrid and no one makes a foul? Only the human opponent is going to make the free, you know, the free kicks and give them away. And that's, it's not good enough. I don't want 100 of them, don't get me wrong. I don't want a, a ton of fouls because it's a video game at the end of the day. You're meant to be enjoying it. But still, you know, why can't we have four or five in a half? Maybe Barcelona get a little bit dirty, a little bit more physical every now and then, just to mix it up. But yeah, we're not seeing any free kicks given. So still a little bit worrying on that side, guys. I hope Konami do do something about it. But yeah, it's good footage. It's, uh, it's more promising than the, the other matches that we saw. But this could be the whole adaptive AI. I mean, I, I can't wait to get my hands on it and play it and really test out the AI in a numerous different ways. You know, different scenarios with different tactics, different teams. Yeah, we're going to have a limited amount of teams you can play with. Um, I'd probably say these are going to be in the demo among a couple of other teams as well. But yeah, really test out the AI, see what they can do. I hope we do get like a 10-minute game to play as well. Which I think Konami will do. They normally give us a good amount of time uh, to certainly play the demos. As opposed to the, the rubbish four or five, six minute games you used to get. Especially on FIFA. But we are coming through to the final couple of minutes. And it looks like Barcelona 
are going to end up winning this one. It was, uh, I think that was Messi was actually trying to smash one clear. Didn't quite get it out of his feet quick enough. Oh, there is a strike. Low and hard, but at least he had a strike. Hey, at least he was outside the box, so I've got no complaints about that. And anyway, we'll be back with some more. We've got lots of stuff to come. I'll be mixing up the content until sort of PES 2017 does ship. I'll be playing it on day one, of course. Uh, but until next time, subscribe for more and take care.